Ravel's 1956 Chevrolet Del Rey coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. And I'm talking to the Western world over here right now. But I do hope you had a good Christmas holiday season and you got lots of model cars and other model kits under your Christmas tree. Now, let's go down and talk about the 56 Chevrolet uh, Del Rey. <laughs> losing what I was saying here. Okay, the 1956 Chevy Del Rey. Now, they used to advertise that the hot one got even hotter because the 1955 Chevrolet had a total redress to make up the 1956 and it's quite a cool car and quite a good job by Ravel. So let's go down and open up the lid on this baby and see what's in the box. Now let's take the lid off this 56 Chevrolet Del Rey. Quite a cool old kit. We'll just pull it up here. Skill level 2 by Ravel. And we've got these great instruction sheets. And I'll just move this out of the way. And again, as you can see, bought at Michael's on December 19th, 2003 for $15. And inflation has gone up in 15 years. You can't buy them this cheap anymore. However, the Del Rey is quite unique as it was an upper class, middle class Chevrolet just before the Bel Air model, sandwiched in between that and your regular Chevy 210. And here's our engine. Everything going together under there. Quite a big multi-piece arrangement. Much like the 55 Chevy I reviewed earlier. Multi-piece tires with the white wall inserts. Lots of glass. And of course separate seat panels, which are different from the 55 Chevrolet. Instrument panels similar, but not the same. And then there it goes together. Definitely the front grille is quite different. Sort of similar to a 56 Ford in a lot of ways when you reflect back on it. And then they give you some of the colors that it's painted in. Now let's see our decal sheet. And there you get these circles which go on the wheels, the um, hubcaps. There's your instrument panel pieces and some license plates and little tiny bits of Chevrolet emblem, of course. It's quite a nice deck all sheet. Even though it's tiny and could do with like a whole bunch of flames and things, but <laughs> anyway, I'm just joking. Okay, let's open up the bag on this and see what it looks like. My old Boy Scout knife from 1986. Come to the rescue many times over in these videos. I'll just pull it out of the wrap. And have a look at that nice body. Come on camera, don't go out of focus. You see the pillar, pillar in the window there? That's uh, quite common for the 210. And there's that nice interior. As you can see the seat pattern in there. It's a very fine detail on the carpet. And of course underneath, a couple of mold release marks. And we've got our second part tree here. The top of the dashboard and the bottom of the dashboard. The uh, two part seats and the nice steering wheel and steering column. There's our white wall tire inserts. You get five of them. And our interior panels with some very nice detail. I think this is the back of a seat. I'm not sure there. And look at the detail on our wheels. That's even correct. The wheels in the back don't have the spikes to them. The center cap. Then we have our clear parts here, separate side windows again, and a whole bunch of details. There's our water bottle, the clear one. 
for your windshield wipers. Oh, we got a tire taking a ride here. There's our chrome. Now see those little circles? They go in here. If you don't want to paint those. So, a lot of nice cool parts there. Well, there's one of the tires that took a ride. You can see it's got a groove for the white wall. And again, like the 55 Chevy. Well, this one actually does have some lettering on the tires, very faintly. And then here's our final bag for the underneath. Or the other parts in here, chassis parts and whatnot. There's our transparent red tail lights. Just little guys, little dots. Nice chassis. Look at all that detail in there. Very beautiful. There is a copyright mark right here, but I do believe it gets covered by the gas tank. And there's our wheels, wheel backs, separate springs for the hood. So if you want to display it in up position. Ooh, then we have our engine block and all those components. And finally the undercarriage. There's the gas tank, spare tire, and that would just plug in over top of that um, copyright mark. And that brings us to the end of our review of the Revell 56 Chevrolet Del Rey. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobby's What's in the Box when we got to unwrap our 1956 Chevrolet Del Rey kit by Revell. <laughs> and don't forget to check out our website for more model cars and fun at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And if you like these videos, please subscribe to us right here. And don't forget to check out these other three amazing What's in the Box videos where we get to open the lid on other cars that are popular. And until next time, good luck in 2019.